Hi everyone, Josh here, and today we're going to tackle another uh, zip file related question, and that is what to do if you have the Windows error message, the compressed zip file is invalid. This could be Windows 10, uh, 8, or 7, and it's likely very similar in Windows 11 as well. So basically this error occurs when there's an issue with the file itself, perhaps the file is corrupted, perhaps it wasn't compressed properly, whatever the case, something is going on and you're unable to actually extract the information inside. So today we're gonna have several solutions and as always, I'll move from the quickest and simplest solution and move down the line to the least likely uh, or to the less likely and to the more complicated solutions. Hopefully you'll find something that fixes your problem along the way and be sure to let us know in the comments which one of these solutions worked for you so that the community will know where to start first. Before we jump into the main solutions, I do want to give an obligatory uh, restart your computer first, then check it, make sure Windows is updated completely. All that stuff should be taken care of already. Uh, if you've done that and you're still having the issue, let's move on to the first solution. Uh, the error message will probably look something like this, uh, you know, your compressed zipped folder error. Windows cannot open the folder and it'll tell you exactly uh, where the, you know, what the file name is and where it is and that it's invalid. And it'll only give you the option to hit OK. Uh, so you can't really do anything else with this built-in error. All right, the first solution I want you to try is uh, basically just go ahead and uh, is just re-download the file. Uh, and the, the reason is that, you know, the file could have been corrupted at some point during the download process, particularly for uh, larger files. It could have been an issue with your internet, with the host internet, whatever it is, just go ahead and actually go back to the site wherever you downloaded it, and then you're going to download it again. Once you've downloaded the file again, go ahead and go back to the folder that you downloaded it to, uh, right click it and try to go ahead and extract it again. Now, for the next tip, it kind of depends on how you're trying to unzip your file right now. If you're right-clicking and you're simply selecting Extract All, you're using the Windows built-in file extractor. Normally, no problems with that. It's great. It works most of the time. If it's still not working, though, after the last fix, what we're going to do is actually install a third-party tool that we can use to unzip it as well. For this step, I recommend that you download a tool called WinRAR. Uh, this tool has been around for a very long time, and it is you know, bare bones, simple, free, all that good stuff. Basically, you're just gonna download this uh, utility. Um, and the reason I picked this one is because we may end up using it for a later step as well. Other alternatives could include 7-Zip or WinZip. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and download this and get it installed. All right, now that we have WinRAR installed, uh, we're gonna go back to the original file folder that has our zip file, and you can see that the icons have changed because we've associated them with WinRAR. Now we're going to actually right-click on it, and instead of extracting all with the default Windows option, we're going to extract files with WinRAR. So when you hit OK, you'll have some options here. You can change the destination path. Most of the other stuff you won't really need to worry about. Go ahead and hit OK. I've actually already extracted this, so I'm just going to overwrite it. And you can see that I have the file folder here that is extracted. Now, hopefully this solved your problem and it's just a matter of basically using uh, this third-party tool. I recommend that you have one of these on your computer anyway, just because they do have some extra functionality. If for whatever reason it is not working, uh, there is one more thing that you can do with RINRAR and that is to repair the file. Uh, if you suspect that the file itself is actually corrupted, this is an option that might help you. So you're gonna go back into your file folder and this time you're just gonna double click on the file itself, which is gonna open WinRAR. Uh, for the actual zip file that you're working with. If you click under the Tools tab at the top, you'll see an option that says Repair Archive. You're gonna click on that. It's gonna tell you, it's gonna ask you where you wanna put the repaired archive. You can just select any folder you want. I'm just gonna throw it back in my C drive. But you do wanna make sure that you have the option for Treat the Corrupt Archive as a Zip selected. Hit OK. It takes just a second usually, and it says now that it's done, you're gonna hit Close. You can close out of here. Go back to the original file folder, right click, and then try to extract it again. Now, hopefully this point uh, you have gotten your uh, file uh, unzipped and uncompressed and it's working fine. If it's not, uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, you can try another unzipping tool, a third party tool. I recommend 7-Zip. Uh, you can just go to you can just go to 7-zip.org. Uh, again, this is another very old, very trusted tool, free. 
uh, download the tool, just make sure that you select the correct Windows version, whether it's 64-bit or 32-bit. Once you have that downloaded, uh, you'll have a new option here when you right click and you'll see here that I have 7-zip available and you're gonna do the same thing. You go to 7-zip, then you go to extract files and you'll go from there. Okay, hopefully that fixed it. If it didn't, there are a few more things we can do, so don't worry. Now, uh, the next thing we're gonna do is actually restart uh, the Windows File Explorer. So to do this, you're gonna press alt Control delete uh, You're gonna hit Task Manager and then you can see here uh, all of the apps that are open right now. Probably be a good idea to sort based on name and then you can see the Windows stuff up here at the top. If we scroll down, we wanna go down until we see uh, the Windows processes, processes right here. And then you'll see Windows Explorer right here towards the top. We're gonna to right click on that and we're gonna hit restart. Now that's basically restarted our Windows File Explorer. We can go back and open up we can go ahead and head back to the original folder that has our zip files in there, and we can go ahead and try to open these up and extract them here. Hopefully that is working. If it's not, uh, one more thing to check, and uh, this one's a little bit more complicated, but it's pretty easy. We're gonna hit Windows, and we're going to type, uh, we're gonna type apps and features, and we can go into that system setting here. And then up on the top right, we'll see programs and features, we'll tap that. Now here we have uh, basically the old school uninstall or change a program uh, uh, window, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down and we're going to pair our Microsoft Visual C++ uh, redistributable file. Just make sure again that you're looking here at the 2015 through 2022 and that you are looking for either the 64 or 86. If you have a 64-bit, uh, installation of Windows, you'll choose x64. If you have the 32-bit, you'll choose x86. You're gonna right click, and instead of uninstall, you're gonna click change. And then here, you'll click repair. Uh, it's gonna ask you to confirm, you'll say yes. And the process will take a little bit of time, but it shouldn't take very long. And once it's done, it'll give you uh, a notice that you need to restart your computer before you can use it. Uh, so go ahead and restart your computer at this point and then come back in and try to unzip the file. I'm gonna go ahead and close it. So hopefully one of these solutions did solve your problem. And again, if, uh, if one of these things did help you, please let us know in the comments uh, which one uh, did it for you so that you can help the community learn what to try first. And if the video helped you, please consider liking uh, this video. It does help out the channel quite a bit and helps me to create more videos for you to answer your tech-related questions. Thanks for watching and have a great day.